problem 22 looks overwhelming. The strength of the problem is really not that hard. It's just a lot of steps. So follow with me here. Maybe watch this video twice and then go back and see if you can do it on your own. So the first thing I want to do, again, I'm trying to solve for an x. So what value can I plug in for x that when I plug it into the two positions where I see the variable and I complete the operations, does this quantity subtract this quantity equal to? All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to move one of the radicals to the right. I want to have them on opposite sides. Which one do we choose? Well, if there's one that has a negative in front, that's going to be our best bet. So this is a negative radical, so I'm going to move it to the other side by doing the opposite operation, which is adding. Now, this is a square root. If I want to eliminate the square root, I'm going to square both sides. So squaring the right and the left. On the left-hand side, the square root and the square are going to simplify to a 1. I bring down what was underneath the radical. On the right-hand side, because the two terms are separated, the two quantities are separated by a plus or minus, that tells me I need to write it this many times. I write it twice. On the right-hand side, I'm going to start by slowly foiling. 2 times 2 is 4. That's the front for FOIL. Now outside, 2 times this quantity. I push it together. 2 times this quantity. Now I for inside. 2 times this quantity. And then I'm going to FOIL the backs. Remember, the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is square root of 25, which is 5. The square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is the square root of 25, which is just 5. The square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 9, which is just 3. So the square root of 5 subtract 2x times the square root of 5 square root of 5 subtract 2x is just itself. I'm going to combine like terms. 5 plus 4 is 9. There's a negative 2x and then there's 2 of this and 2 of this. A positive 2 of this and a positive 2 of this is a positive 4. I want this to be by itself. So I'm going to start by moving the 9 over by subtracting moving the negative 2x over by adding. So on this side, I have 4x plus 2x. 4x plus 2x is 6x. And 1 subtract 9 is negative 8. This is where I am at this point. Again, my goal is to isolate the x. I need to get rid of the square root. So on the outside, opposite of multiplying is dividing. I'm going to divide both the left and the right by 4. And this word gets a little more complicated. 6 divided by 4 reduces to, divide by 2 and divide by 2, 3 halves x, and negative 8 divided by 4 is negative 2. I'm going to bring that up here. That's what we see up here. This is an ugly 2, just so you know. Now, I want to get rid of this radical. It's a square root. Opposite of square root is square, so I'm going to square both the left and the right. The square root and the square cancel. I bring down 5, subtract 2x. On the left, because these two quantities are separated by adding or subtracting, I need to write this a total of two times. And now I'm going to FOIL. So 3 halves times 3 halves. 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times 2 is 4. There are two x's. Okay, FOIL. Now the outside, I have 3 halves times 2. Remember, this is really like a 1 underneath. So I have 6 over 2. I again, I have 6 over 2. Well, 6 divided by 2 is 3. I'm going to write 3, and I have an x. Negative, this is a negative sign here. Again, I have 6 over 2, which is 3, and an x. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing for the inside. This is a 2 over 1, so I have inside I have 6 over 2. 6 over 2 is 3, and it's negative. Negative 3x and negative 3x is negative 6x. We're just about done with the hardest part. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, and I bring down the right. Again, when I simplify, I could just, just bring down the inside. Now let's move everything to the left. If it was a positive 5, it comes a negative 5. If it was a negative 2x, it becomes a positive. And then I combine like terms. Negative 6 and positive 2. Positive 4 and negative 1. I don't like working with fractions. and Many of you don't as well. So how can I solve this and not have to work with fractions? You learned this prior to Christmas break. So we can eliminate the fractions by finding a common denominator when you have an equation. So I have 9 over 4, negative when I combine like terms, negative 4 over 1, negative 1 over 1, and 0 over 1. There's nothing left on the right. Okay, 4, 1, 1, 1. 
Now, I don't want fractions again. Let's find a common denominator of 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. So I have 9 fourths x squared minus 16 over 4x minus 4 over 4 equals 0 over 4. With an equation, when the, com when the denominators are all the same, I wipe them out. And I have 9x squared minus 16x minus 4 equals 0. How can we solve at this point? We can plug it into the graphing calculator and we can graph it to find what are the real zeros. I can do the quadratic formula. Or let's see if I can factor. Maybe that's a possibility. What multiplies to give you negative 16 combines to give you negative, excuse me, what multiplies to give you negative 36 and combines to give you a negative 16? Negative 18 and positive 2. Now this is different than the previous problems we worked with. The leading coefficient is not 1, so we're going to do bottoms up. Okay? Simplifies negative 2, and we have a positive 2 ninths. Remember, this is opposite here, so opposite of positive 2, this is one answer. Opposite of positive 2 ninths, this is the opposite answer. Now, how do we check to see what the right answer is? In my opinion, because these two answers, x values, aren't really, really large or really, really small, um, I think it's easiest to eliminate the extraneous solutions if they occur using a graphing calculator. So I'm going to zoom out here. This is the original problem up top, which you're going to see right here, number 22, which is right there, and I'm going to graph. So I come up here, if anything existed, I would erase it, and I have the square root of 4x plus 1, oops, sorry, 4x plus 1, I use the cursor to move outside, subtract the square root of 5, subtract 2x, I go to y sub 2 and plug into 2. I can see they only cross one time. Now, where is that value? We can go second trace, and I could plug in what I have, or I could go down to intersect. Okay, use the cursors. There's one, there's two. Go over the top where they intersect, and I have an answer of positive two. So it has eliminated the negative two ninths. It's eliminated the second answer, it's extraneous, and the only correct answer is two.